are you talking about, Mama? Plants, Wolfie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life with them. Um, today I'm doing a short video on my Hoya Matilde. Uh, I have two of them and one of them is currently blooming. As you can see, this is the Matilde flower. It's extremely adorable. It's got that star shape that uh, a lot of Hoya blooms has. Um, but the flowers are kind of fuzzy looking and I've seen pictures of these flowers before but what I didn't know was that they smell so good especially in the evening last night I purposely came out to visit the plant just to see what it smells like in the nighttime and this, this plant only has this one flower but uh, the fragrance really uh, permeated the space it was really very lovely and the smell reminds me it's very floral it reminds me of the mm, ylang ylang uh, smell flower smell so um, as you can see I have two here this one is my original Matilde. I got it as a few cuttings last year and uh, it just grew so well and it already had put out a peduncle and almost flower uh, this month but uh, what ended up happening was that I didn't realize a couple of mealybugs were hidden um, on the peduncle and was kind of sucking the life out of it so the flower never ended up blooming uh, let me show you so the peduncle was here yeah, so the flower never ended up blooming and kind of uh, before it opened it all dropped off. So I was really mindful of this guy when it was working on blooming. I was checking for mealybugs and making sure that it wasn't, the uh, potting medium wasn't dried out. So this big one I got from Crystal Star Nursery and it had already come with multiple uh, old peduncles like this one. Oops, <laughs> there's Buddha. He doesn't like being locked in a room with us. I have multiple peduncles like this one. As you can see, like the peduncles is a little bit elongated like this. And it shows you that it's been, it's bloomed a few times. So this one is the longest one and it's bloomed again. So, sorry, focus. So yeah, these are, it shows you that it's bloomed a few times already. Um, and this material that I got from Crystal Star Nursery is not as, uh, the foliage is lighter in color and um, not as glossy as uh, and speckly as the one that I've had before, but I really adore them both. And funny enough, um, so this one that I have, I, I have it in my regular Hoya potting mix, which is roughly one third uh, potting soil or peat moss, one third perlite and one third um, orchid bark and it grows really well in this potting mix but this one that I got from Crystal Star Nursery it came in um, sphagnum moss and I had kept it in there and it's doing quite well as well as you can see that it's it's bloomed from just being in sphagnum moss so yeah I'm just gonna keep it in sphagnum moss as an experiment and see how it goes in uh, long longer term I have two of them in two different growing conditions, but they're both getting quite uh, bright light. This one, I grow it right underneath my grow light and really close to a humidifier. And so and it's doing quite well. And this one I have right next to my south and window, which um, hasn't been getting a lot of light uh, in the summertime. It started to get a little bit more light exposure now, but so it just gets kind of not direct light but constant indirect light throughout the kind of late spring summertime and it started to get a little bit more direct light in the afternoon now and that's when it bloomed i kind of noticed my other um hoya bloom i had placed it close to the window and during the afternoon sun and the 
uh, peduncle bloom too. So I think the heat and the light played a part in um, in it blooming. So the matilla is really quite a easy plant to take care of. It shares a lot of the characteristics as the regular uh, original Hoya cornosa. Um, you can really let it dry out for a really long time and then water it once it's quite dry. But it's also not really hard to, it's not easy to overwater it either. Um, so I find that it's just not a very fuzzy plant. You, 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 uh, it's hard to mess up with them. But again, they are Hoyas and epiphytic, so you don't want to, or is it semi epiphytic? So you don't want to overwater them or water, let them stay and have wet feet for a very, very long time. Um, so in, in the summertime that is hotter, I water them a little bit more frequently. They get watering uh, about once a week or a week and a little bit, um, and that's about it. So and in terms of fertilizing, I, um, I don't really think about fertilizing them even when they're actively growing. I once in a while put a little bit of um, all-purpose uh, fertil uh, liquid fertilizer in the water and very very diluted and feed them when I water them and once in a blue moon when I remember I would um, uh, miss them with some orchid uh, fertilizer fertilizer mist because I have heard um, good things about that product with Hoyas and I'll just kind of go around and miss all my Hoyas and the foliage could absorb the fertilizer through the mist and I just like misting in general anyways. Um, yeah, so I really, really highly recommend this plant. It, this one was a few cuttings uh, in last October and it had already bloomed for me. Not bloomed, but like tried to bloom, uh, disturbed by the mealybugs, but, but it had already been able to flower, uh, at least try to flower uh, in early summer. So um, if you're wanting a Hoya that would produce for you uh, uh, quickly. I think Hoya Matil is really one that you should try for. I really love this, this speckle. Isn't this beautiful? I think that I have covered everything that I want to tell you guys about uh, on this plan. If you have any more questions, you can leave it in the comments. If you like this video, like this kind of content, please let, let me know um, and subscribe and like the video. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.